Hello, I am Shiv Kumar from Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology. Uh, we have this uh, rainwater harvesting help desk established uh, for Bamboo people. Uh, we have been providing information on rainwater harvesting, groundwater recharge and such related water conservation measures uh, for the public. Uh, now the government of Karnataka has made uh, rainwater harvesting compulsory in the BWSSP, Bangalore Water Supply and Sewerage Board, parallel to the water supply of Kaveri. They have come out with the novel idea how the rainwater harvesting has to be done in each individual houses, commercial complexes, office buildings, and various open spaces and campuses. So in this applies to all existing buildings, uh, not, not just the new ones? No, uh, this applies to both old and uh, new buildings. Uh, in the old buildings, actually, the plot area or the site area for 40 feet by 60 feet, that is 2,400 square feet and above, people have to go for rainwater harvesting. And for the existing, uh, the upcoming buildings, uh, 30, 40, that is uh, 1,200 square feet and above, any house coming up on these plots, uh, rainwater harvesting is uh, compulsory. People have to do rainwater harvesting. In that, there are two methods. One is uh, collecting and other one is groundwater recharge. Uh, you are welcome to do both. If you have restrictions, either you can store or do groundwater recharge. And the norm is something like this. Uh, for uh, storing, uh, if you have a roof area of one square meter, 20 liter of storage is a must. You should store 20 liters of water for every uh, square meter of roof area. Or uh, if you are doing groundwater recharge, the open place area of one square meter should have at least 10 liters of storage or infiltration system available. For this we recommend uh, storing and the excess water going into the infiltration uh, for the groundwater recharge is a best policy. Uh, Karnataka State Council for Science and Technology uh, the help desk has been providing the help to uh, uh, the citizens of Bangalore. You are welcome to our office. Uh, we provide you uh, the plan for your house. And we will uh, uh, give you all the information how to do it, how much it costs and who can do for you. And our website has a lot of information, a lot of success stories where people have done. So how seriously do you suggest people should take the new rules? Is it just another government thing? Uh, will... No, no. Uh, Bangalore has a lot of limitations about its water availabilities. And uh, um, very few people are really aware that every drop of the water which they uh, use, whether for drinking or for even washing clothes and other things, come all the way from Kaveri, it's 100 kilometers, and pumped uh, against the gradient of nearly half a kilometer height. It's a very, very strange situation, uh, not uh, every uh, city in the world has. And uh, most of the cities are built in the, uh, on the bank of a river or the sea. And Bangalore is very unique, it doesn't have neither the uh, perennial river nor the sea beside it. So every drop people have to be very uh, cautious to uh, judiciously use, conserve and save rainwater. In fact, the water which you are using in Bangalore, uh, it's uh, water which is fa falling on your rooftops, uh, through your gutters and drainages, travel all the way back to Kaveri. And the same Kaveri water is pumped back by BWSSP and brought to your house. This circus can be avoided if you can harvest the rooftop water which is falling in. It's the purest form of water which you can think of. Mr. Shivkumar and you and your organization, Case Case CST, you've really been passionately advocating for rainwater housing over the past almost decade, I think more than a decade. So congratulations for all your work and thank you. I hope it. Thank shows you. Thank you very much.